quick update on the Gyanwapi matter, ladies and gentlemen, where the Allahabad High Court has now issued a notice to the ASI, Archaeological Survey of India, in the petition seeking scientific investigation of the Shivalingam that was found on the 16th of May 2022. This is the Hindu Paksha's claim that it's a Shivalingam. The, the petition was filed, has been filed challenging the order dated 14th of October 2022, passed by the district judge in the Varanasi court. The next date of hearing has been fixed for the 21st of November 2022. Ananya joining us live with more on this. We're hoping to also go across to the petitioner, Vishnu Jain, in just a bit. Yes, Ananya. Well, yes, uh, Anand, uh, a very, very crucial petition coming in. Remember that the Varanasi court had actually uh, dismissed the plea filed by the Hindu side seeking a scientific investigation, a carbon dating of that particular uh, structure that was found, uh, which the Hindu side claims to be a shivling, while the Muslim side says it's a fountain. And now what has happened is that the Lava, the, high, the orders uh, were passed by the Varanasi district court. It dismissed the application and now the Hindu side moved the uh, Allahabad High Court uh, seeking a similar prayer. And now the Archaeological Survey of India has been asked by the Allahabad High Court to respond to it. Now what this petition particularly says is uh, that first of all, that the learned judge was wrong in its observation that the Supreme Court's uh, order would come in right. its way because it was the Supreme Court itself which had directed uh, the Varanasi district judge to actually decide this uh, whole case. And he was empowered uh, the, entire, by the, the court, court to press. Exactly. Anane, I'm interrupting you because we've got Vishnu Jain with us. Uh, Vishnu Jain, uh, so da, what was your plea or what was your prayer at the, in the Allahabad High Court and what did the court rule? What are you a very good evening, uh, Anandji, and uh, today Namaste. we had filed the petition before the Ilabad High Court. And the challenge before the Ilabad High Court was to the order passed by the district judge of 14th of October, where the Honorable District Judge has rejected our application seeking scientific investigation of the Shivlingam on the premise and on the ground that the Supreme Court's order will be violated. And the second footing was that if such an exercise is conducted, the Shivlingam will be damaged. So our plea before the Ilabad High Court was that without taking any reply from the ASI, without calling the ASI, how can the Honorable Court assume that the Shivlingam will be damaged? And the question of GPR survey excavation or scientific investigation can never damage the Shivlingam. So all these arguments were raised in a revision judiciary before the Ilabad High Court. And I'm very grateful to the Honorable Ilabad High Court, to that Honorable Ilabad High Court has issued notice in our matter and also has accepted our interim relief, seeking, seeking the ASI to give its report. And the Honorable Court has directed the Archaeological Survey of India through its director to submit, it, to submit its report before 21st of November on the issue that whether this kind of exercise can be conducted or not. And the mm. notice has also been issued to Anjuman Intazamia as well as the other respondents. True. So in this case, uh, is the Allahabad High Court asking the Archaeological Survey of India to answer the question that whether this survey can be conducted without any damage to the structure which the Hindu side claims is a shivalingam in that area which has now been secured by the Honorable Supreme Court? Yes, yes, absolutely right. And let me also tell you, in a separate hmm. proceeding, in a collateral proceeding, the Archaeological Survey of India has given an affidavit before the Allahabad High Court that this mm. kind of an exercise can be conducted if the court mm. so orders. Mm. So I have told you time and again earlier also Jee. when this order Jee. was passed that this order Jee. is erroneous on the ground because the SI mm. has gone on to record to say that this kind of an exercise can be conducted. It has filed an mm. affidavit before the Allahabad High Court in a collateral proceeding. And therefore, right. I believe that once the response of ASI will come, the, the picture will be very clear in this matter. Now, who, because uh, isn't in another matter the ASI supposed to submit a report? The, uh, the, yeah, there is another matter. It has submitted, yeah. so, it has submitted so, its report and it has given an affidavit saying that if the court will order, this kind of an exercise can be conducted. So, in that matter, the ASI before has Ilabad already I, said that, that such affidavit a... affidavit has also been filed before Ilabad, I think. So, so will the will that affidavit correct, also correct. come into play? Will that affidavit also come into play? Or here, the yeah, specific definitely. question that's been asked is that whether or not there will be any damage to the structure present there or to the premise premise present there. That that because the structural damage was the concern that was raised, and especially with the angle of carbon dating, despite the correct. fact that it was scientific investigation that was actually spoken about, carbon dating just being one of the many methods that are or many options that are available. Vishnu Jain. Correct. Correct. You are absolutely right. 
so the idea is to ascertain that what is the age and length and breadth of the shivlingam which has been found and mm. so far as that idea is concerned on principle i am saying the si has given an affidavit in a collateral matter that the uh, investigation scientific investigation through gpr survey and other methods can be conducted of the entire premises so now in this proceedings which uh, i am representing the court has asked a specific question that whether this kind of an exercise can be conducted for the shivlingam so i feel and i, I believe that the asi has given an affidavit on principle accepting this demand so far as the entire uh, gyan vyapi mm. complex concerned so now the point left because when the survey will be conducted if the high court so orders for the entire premises then it has to be conducted of the bazoo area also and it has to be ascertained that this shivlingam which has been found what is the age length and breadth of this shivlingam so i feel that the si will give its response and the response and the response cannot be in contravention or in contradiction to the earlier response which has been filed before the honorable court yeah because there you are saying that the response has been from the asi that such a survey can be conducted here the specific question is whether or not there will be a damage to the structure and could the varanasi court have determined there will be a damage to the structure without the asi being consulted in the first right. place now wh wh what is the Absolutely. notice that's been sent to the anjuman intazamia and what could happen on the 21st of november after the alabad high court's ruling will the matter go back to the district court see alabad high court can decide both ways the ilawad high court themselves can on a direct uh, the asi to conduct a survey or they can set aside the order of the district judge and remand the matter back to the district court both the options are possible so i cannot predict as of now that what the order of the court will be but we are waiting for the response from the asi and notice has been issued to anjuman intazamia because anjuman intazamia was being represented before the trial court which is the district judge of uh, varanasi therefore they have to be represented before the high court also so we are taking dusty steps and it will be served to the anjuman intazamia and they will come and appear before the honorable ilawad high court before the next date of hearing Uh, I just want to understand Vishnu Jain when the argument was placed before the district court did the Anjuman Intazamia oppose an archaeological survey who raised the concern of damage to the structure was it Anjuman Intazamia or one of the members of the Hindu Paksh itself and now going forward in Allahabad High Court has there been any objection placed one of the members of the Hindu Paksh had raised the objection of damage to the shivlingam through carbon dating that too also through carbon dating which we clarified mm. on 7th of uh, october saying that there is no question we are also not asking for any damage to the chimlingam in our petition right. before the ilawad high court as well as before the district that we had said that we want to get this exercise conducted without any damage to the chimlingam so that issue yeah. was clarified time and time and again before the uh, honorable uh, district court varanasi as well as before the ilawad high court but without mm. appreciating that fact the honorable district uh, court court of varanasi had rejected our application and the second point is that the uh, anjuman intazamia will file its reply before the ilawad high court and the and, and very interesting question you have asked i'm so grateful thankful to you hmm. the anjuman intazamia interestingly filed an affidavit before the district court of varanasi saying that it is right. not a shivlingam it's a fountain and this question right. has to be adjudicated so the question yes. is the whole point is that how will this question be adjudicated it when, has to be done by an by an authority which has the ability to do it and that's the asi i have run out of time vishnu jain and that's why i had to interrupt you but thank you so we'll continue to track this we'll all see what happens on the 21st of november with that it's a wrap of this edition of the nation at 5